five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Very first for speed boys. SpaceX have just successfully launched their 21st mission of the year, which is a new record for them. It was an interesting mission as it was run in a fully expendable configuration, which meant no grid fins or landing legs were attached as every bit of thrust was needed to get the first of the GPS-3 satellites into its correct orbit. The mission looked like a great success, but I noticed some odd things happening with the second stage once it had started its engine. Firstly, I noticed a lot of ice chunks, which I don't remember seeing on previous missions. Here's a few shots of them. Now I know that there's an oxygen purge valve around here, but I don't recall seeing anything like this much ice buildup in other missions, but maybe it's a function of the amount of fuel needed to get to the desired orbit. However, the more worrying thing I noticed started just after the second stage engine started for the first time, and maybe it's connected to the ice. If you look at the silver thermal radiation shielding, you can clearly see a shock passing through it at regular intervals. These intervals get further and further apart until I think they stop, but I've no idea what's causing them. At first I thought it might be the shock of separation rippling back and forth through the structure and causing waves or ripples in the fuel tank, but the increasing intervals between each shock don't make sense. As if it was caused by that, the intervals would be the same and the shock itself would lessen. Then I thought it might be a leak in one of the fuel lines, so maybe liquid was venting and instantly freezing causing the initial shock. Then as the pressure builds up, it forces the ice to break off, more liquid escapes, the pressure drops and causes another shock. Then the liquid freezes again and so on. It will explain the shocks and also the unusually high amount of ice buildup. Now maybe something like this is happening, but by design. If there's a pressure problem in the rocket, then maybe it automatically vents to release some pressure. As more fuel is spent, it happens less often. What do you think? It certainly seems strange to me, but I don't know for sure what is causing this troubling phenomenon. Have you got a better idea, or maybe you know for sure? Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.